everybody and welcome back to the channel my name is CJ if you're new and this week we have been working on getting ready for hunting season yesterday my brother and I went and hung some uh, tree stands we set up this ground blind and a couple evenings ago I came out and mowed this field down I hadn't mowed it all year so it was pretty high but uh, what I would like to do now is I brought the tractor with the box blade out here and what I would like to do is see if I can plow this up a little bit with the box blade. I'm going to drop these tines down and uh, see if I can dig them up a little bit and then maybe we'll bring the 1957 Ford out here with the disc and uh, chop it up some more. We're going to see if it works so hopefully it does. We had a little bit of rain soften the ground up a little bit so we'll try to make this work. set it back a little bit. Try that. I got Kelsey putting a drone outside for me right now. I'm going to fly the drone out because I want to show you after we got this top layer of grass and thatch off, we're starting to dig down into the dirt now and break it up a little bit. So I'm going to fly the drone out here from the house, give you an overhead view, and then after we get done doing this, I think we can bring the disc out and break it up into real fine dirt. And then we're going to have to decide what we want to plant. It needs calibrated. Okay. So I think you go counterclockwise with it with holding it flat and then you yeah. put and then you put the camera nose down and do it. Okay. I'm doing it. So here's what we ended up with. Did all this with the box blade. And I don't know if you could see in the video or not, but what I was doing was uh, dropping down the box blade and lifting it back up to get all that dirt out of there to get the tines cleared. That way they could sink back down in the dirt. 
and I just kept doing that. that was, that's where I was getting the most uh, ground tillage, was lifting it up and dropping it back down. So you, you probably noticed there's humps and stuff out there. What I'm going to try to do is get the 57 Ford tractor running, and it's got the disc on it. And uh, we'll come out here, disc it, make it all smooth, and then we'll be ready to plant. So how'd we do? Let me show you. It chopped it up real nice and fine. So after running the disc on it, after using the box blade to, to plow it up, we are ready to plant. Now I know I'm going to need some lime because this uh, soil is a little bit acidic. So we're going to put some lime down and put the seed down. At this point we're getting to the end of August. I'm probably going to go with some type of uh, Antler King seed with the brassicas and rye and stuff like that because they still have time where they can grow, especially if I put lime down. So, probably gonna go get some of that, but that is how you can prep a food plot with a box blade and uh, with a disc. And it turned out pretty well. This is the best I've ever been able to till up a food plot. Okay. Kelsey's at the store this morning, so I got my three midgets with me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> They're going to help me today plant this food plot. We're going to put some lime down and plant the seed. Who's going to do it? Me. You're going to push me. that? Yes. Me. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you too? No. Okay. It's just me going to do it. I'm going to get the whole bag. Okay. Let me see you do it. All right, go fast. I can't do it. <laughs> Here, let me. It's stuck. All right, here's what we ended up going with: seven card stud for seed. Put that around. And we've got. Let me get this in the sun. Triticale oats. Winter peas, annual clover, chicory, turnip, and radish. So we're going to try that out. That's what's recommended for planting this time of year. Sharp too. Okay. Yeah. All right, we got the lime down, seeds planted. Uh, what I'm gonna do later, I'm gonna come over this with the disc one more time to cover up the seeds and then wait for a good hard rain. So thanks to the girls, thanks to my brother-in-law Craig for the help. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll keep you updated on the food plot. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And everybody, thanks for watching.